Well, the number of Central and South American migrants in Denver reaching record levels tonight. The city saying nine buses from the southern border brought more than 340 migrants to Denver on Thursday. Another seven buses arriving just today. This comes just days before the Christmas holiday as the city scrambles to figure out how to manage the influx. Denver 7's Christian Lopez spoke to officials about the surge and to two children about what they went through to get here. <laughs> Flight attendant. That's the dream job for both eight year old Alondra and 10 year old Valentina. <laughs> Two cousins who just arrived in Denver. It's really pretty. I like it. I really liked it. After a terrifying journey to get here. The jungle is really bad. There were a lot of dead people. In Venezuela, they would treat us badly. Even law enforcement would rob us. There was no gas. The money was not enough to buy food. It's all leading to record-breaking numbers. Just in December, alone the city has seen more than 90 buses arriving from Texas and there's just not enough room to house everyone that is causing situations like this one on Zunai and Spear where people are living in tents with limited resources. But we only have so much shelter space. We only have so many resources. Our nonprofits are working day and night to help people. Um, but they're only human too and they only have so many hours in the day. An unbelievably challenging time for the city. All of the things we would love to do and all the things we're trying to do when it comes to connecting people with these long term resources just becomes exponentially more challenging when you have 300 people arriving per day. A big priority right now is getting this group of people off the streets. When it comes to that encampment that is on Zunai right now, we're in kind of constant conversations now about trying to get them some kind of a congregate shelter site, something along those lines where we can get them off that property off the street and into a better managed, a better cared for situation for them. For these two, the help they have gotten here so far has meant everything. We didn't have toys or any of that. All of the toys were too expensive. We're thankful they're bringing us food because we don't have enough money to buy food. In Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. As of this morning, more than 3,800 migrants were staying in city shelters. That's a 22% increase from October. Those numbers are expected to continue growing.